What's up you guys, it's Levi here. Today I'm doing a video about a statement Trump made recently during a mid-election campaign event in Tucson, Arizona, talking about how nobody gets hacked. Nobody. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so I tried to copy him the best that I possibly could. Unfortunately, I don't sound like Donald Trump, but hopefully I sound pretty funny, right? <laughs> anyway, I will play the clip here real quick of exactly what he said and why it is blatantly wrong. It is fake news. I normally do not like to do anything politically related on this channel. That's not what this channel is about. But the statement that Trump made in the video I'll be showing you is blatantly wrong. And my viewers need to be aware that this is wrong because I don't want my viewers on this channel to have a false sense of security and take security lightly and not take the actions they should be doing to protect themselves and expose themselves to the terrible cybersecurity threats to this world and have a mentally painful cybersecurity attack happen to them. So that's why I'm doing this video because I care about you guys. I want this channel to be politically neutral and I will not be supporting or putting down any political candidate or any political party. If someone with major power says something that is wrong, cybersecurity wise, I'm going to call them out on this channel and I'm going to talk about what they said and why it is wrong because it doesn't do you guys any favors for me to take sides because I agree with the political candidate or I don't agree with the political candidate. It's all about the facts on this channel. I am the real deal. I talk about what I wanna talk about and do not care what political party somebody is affiliated with or what type of politician they are. I only talk about the facts on this channel. It's fair that you guys know what the cybersecurity truth is. I know that in this specific situation, I'm talking about Donald Trump here, but if Joe Biden said the same thing, I would be calling his statement out as well. This is not a personal attack on Donald Trump. This is just a statement saying that he's wrong so that you guys can learn from this and take actions so that you guys don't get hacked. All right, so anyway, let's get into what Trump said and why he is wrong. Here's a clip of what he said. Nobody gets hacked. To get hacked, you need somebody with 197 IQ, and he needs about 15% of your password, right? All right, so the first thing that I would like to say is anyone can get hacked. Nothing is unhackable. Keep that in your mind at all times. Nothing is unhackable. No one is invincible. All right, so if nobody can get hacked, why do I have content to talk about each and every single month on high profile organizations that get smashed with ransomware, just like you should be smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm. This ransomware shuts down these organizations and costs them millions upon millions of dollars. Are we saying that these people are idiots because they got hacked? Are we saying that the SANS training organization, one of the top cybersecurity training organizations in the world is an idiot because they got a data breach of thousands of records from their organization. Do you really think that they are an idiot at being one of the top cybersecurity training organizations in the world? They are proof that anyone can get hacked even cybersecurity expert related organizations. Trump can even get hacked. He is not immune himself. After all, his hotel chain was hacked twice. Once between 2014 and once between 2015. Um, you can see from the pictures here um, on the dates down below in the Trump organization that there was indeed data breaches for his organizations between those dates. And not only that, you can see from this next picture here, it happened again between 2016 and 2017. So even Trump can get hacked. Hackers, or what we like to call the pirates, arg, on this channel, like to look for two things, easy targets and highly profitable targets. 
If you're a highly profitable target, you can't really control whether you're a highly profitable target unless, of course, you want to check out my email down below in the description and Venmo or PayPal me all of your money so that you're not highly profitable. I would be glad to be take, taking that off of your hands. But most people that are highly profitable are not going to want to do that. So, the best thing that you can do is stop being an easy target. And this applies to non-highly profitable people as well. If you're not an easy target, a hacker is much, much more likely to move on to an easy target. Because why would they want to put an effort into a hard target when there's another easy target for them to go hit that takes way less time? So how do you stop being an easy target? Well, here are some of the things that you can do that will stop making you an easy target. Stop setting bad passwords. Stop your bad password practices. Stop being fished. Do not be a Mr. Elon Muskie here. Stop falling for those phishing emails and stop clicking link and taking action on those phishing emails. Be careful of what you're installing on your devices. Don't just go willy-nilly and install everything. And pay attention to what you have on your devices already. If you're not using something, get rid of it. And then finally, make sure that all of your devices and software are up to date as soon as possible. If you're taking all of these actions, your chances will dramatically go down that you will be hacked. It's still possible, but the chances are less, less likely. It's like driving a car and wearing a seatbelt. You put that seatbelt on to reduce your chances of dying in a car accident. You could still die in a car accident, but because you have that seatbelt on, you're much, much, much less likely to die in a car accident. It's the same thing with these cybersecurity practices. Doing these practices is going to make you much less likely to get hacked. Fortunately for you guys, I have videos on all of these topics out there. I'll post all those videos down in the description below. You should be checking those out and taking these actions immediately. Each and every single month, I come out with a video on the top three phishing scams from the previous month. I talk about what the phishing email looks like, what happens if you fall for them, like Mr. Elon Musky here, and then most importantly, what you guys can learn from those phishing emails so that you stop falling for those phishing emails, and then I'm hoping by doing this on a monthly basis that you guys start to have an immunity in your mind, and you start seeing these phishing emails and saying, hey, I've seen a phishing email that looks like that before, and you don't fall for for those phishing emails and get hacked. I have all those videos linked down below in the description, check those out. I also have a ton of videos on how to set strong passwords so you can have better password practices. I have videos of, on everything that you need to know about password managers, why you need one, how to set one up. I have a video that talks about two-factor authentication. Now, setting up two-factor authentication and having a password manager is a must in 2020. So you want to make sure you're checking those videos out down below and getting those things set up if you haven't already. I have a section in my 2020 cyber resolutions video linked down below um, that talks about updating your devices and software as soon as possible. And then finally, I have a section in my top five ways to defend yourselves against malware video link down below to discuss being careful what you're installing. So I highly advise checking out those videos and taking those actions so that you are much less, less likely to become hacked. Do not listen to Donald Trump's statement and think that you are invincible. Take these actions, watch those videos. The more actions of these that you're taking, the less likely you're going to be hacked and you're going to have a much happier life. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I would love to hear from you guys. And also, make sure that you're taking actions to share this video with as many people as possible so that they can watch these videos on this channel and become more cybersecurity aware and take these actions so they are much less likely to get hacked themselves. And make sure that you're smashing that like button, 
hitting the subscribe button and hitting that notification bell if you haven't already as these actions help promote this video on YouTube so more people can see this video as well. I thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.